Hey, what's up? This is Tiago Titan. Welcome to another Ray Channel Legends video. In this video, I'm going to show you Euros the Soul Cage soloing the Scarab King in the Doom Tower Heart. He is equipped with three immortal sets because he will have a HP 15% HP bonus for each set, so it means 45% and 9% of his max HP heals. You can equip him with a one immortal set and one regeneration set, but in my opinion, immortal is better because he needs a lot of HP, and immortal uh, will give you that. This art is total stats. Uh, I can tell you, he doesn't need uh, his stats to be that high. 106,000 HP, really good. Uh, you don't need that much, but this is a good number. Defense, 3,000. Speed, you don't need him to be very fast, but he must be fast enough to have some turns and heal himself. And accuracy, he needs at least 350. So he's at 384, is okay. This, you, you can see his substats I have here. Some of them are not even uh, with glyphs. This glove is level 12, it's enough. You don't need a refresh uh, ring here. It's here, but you don't need it. And HP, and here accuracy. About books, it's very. His most important skill against the Scarab King is his passive, because when attack, he has 50% chance of placing a 5% poison debuff on the attacker for two turns. It's a 75% chance when booked. This is why I say this is the most important. And this, if you can, you should book at least. If you and if you're lucky, you should look at least. Uh, you should book at least this skill to have more chance of applying the uh, placing the poison, because it's the poison debuffs that will deal all the damage against the Scarab King. So what we have to do is wait the Scarab King to attack Euros and uh, Euros passives will place the poison debuffs. Here Euros has some uh, places a shield on himself. Here uh, you won't. I don't think he uses this uh, skill when he is alone in battle against the Scarab King. And here he gives some ally protection to his allies and strengthen. He, so when he's alone, he gives strength to himself. It also helps to stay alive. So my Euros is fully booked. You can use yours uh, without any books, but he's more effective when booked. And these are the masteries. Here to receive less damage from AoE attacks, here to uh, reduce the damage from a specific enemy. Here for more accuracy, or most of them for accuracy, here more accuracy. Bonus stats for his sets. Here increases speed by 8 for each dead ally, so we will bring uh, 4 champions to deal the damage in the first two waves. They will die at the start of the, the last wave, so this will give 24 uh, speed for uh, Eurost, and here we have a bigger shield. So now it's time to start the battle. We are in floor 100 on Doom Tower Rotation 3. We don't care if it's Rotation 3 or 1, where we can find the Scarab King, because Eurost Soul Cage is void affinity, so we don't care about affinities. We bring four champions to deal a lot of damage and kill the waves fast. And we don't need to do any thing on the preset skills to change priority skills, we don't need anything of that. These four uh, champions will uh, deal all the damage, will kill the waves fast. The second wave it's three duchesses, harder to kill them because they can revive themselves. But uh, we don't care if, we, uh, if uh, the battle here is 30 seconds or one minute, most important is to uh, pass here and go get to the last wave. Okay, one minute and we are in the last wave against the Scarab King. Now he will counterattack because Farrakhan the Fat did have a shield and Scarab King always counterattacks when the attacker does have a shield. All the allies die and Uro Soul Cage is here alone. You can see so many poison debuffs placed by him. Uh, Uros will be waiting to be attacked and will uh, place the poison debuffs. It's a safe uh, run. He doesn't risk anything of dying or something like that because this Euro Soul Cage is a huge tank, he can take a lot of damage, and he's, uh, he's really good here. 
all we have to do is to wait and every time the scarab king attacks there's uh, in in my in this case because uh euros is booked as a 75 percent chance of placing a poison debuff one thing i forgot to tell you about the masteries i choose uh, one uh, tier 5 mastery in support to uh, have a chance of extend the duration of the po of the debuffs in this case the poison debuffs by one turn you can choose the other one because, uh, that gives five percent more chance of placing the any debuffs so it means if you your champion is booked you you have 75 percent chance of placing with that master we have 80 percent chance of placing the poison debuffs or if he's not booked you have a 50 percent chance and with that master we have 55% chance. I uh, picked the other one to have uh, a chance of uh, extended duration of the debuff, but it's up to you. Or you can take both and you don't use the other one that gives more speed by uh, for each that ally, but it's up to you. And you can see this is a fast run, not like uh, Lonathariel or something like that. Uh, he will do this in five, six minutes. Of course, it depends on the chances of placing debuffs. Sometimes he won't place any debuff, a poison debuff, other times he will place all the poison debuffs every time he's attacked. So, of course, it always depends on the chances of placing those poison debuffs. But it's a fast run and it's safe and uh, this is a free champion you get. This is the second legendary champion you can get in the Doom Tower Heart. So you can get this fairly early and uh, it's a great champion, it's a free champion, uh, a great champion to use here to solo the Scarab King. And that's it, 5 minutes 28 seconds, uh, you can see it's fast, uh, 5 minutes, it's okay, it's a good time to farm this boss if you don't have, of course, better options or a, a great team to do this faster, 5 minutes, it's really good. And this is a boss that we really need to farm because it gives the uh, material support the and the untouchable gear, similar to the immunity gear. And, it, and it's a very important artifact set, mostly in the arenas. And I think that's it. You can see this is a great champion to use and it's a free champion. So you have no excuses to do this Scarab King. So let me know in the comments what you, do, what you think about this. And if you have any doubts, you can ask and I will answer you. Thanks for watching, subscribe my channel if you haven't already and if you like my content of course, and I will see you in the next video.